What's up, YouTube? What's that? You can't see me? Well, here I am. And I am in my kitchen. Which usually means I'm going to be making something because I was making something for the hot chocolate. But yeah, kitchen. And what a gift. And I know you want to know what I'm making today. So what I'm going to be making is DIY chocolate lollipops. And if you're going to make this one, what you're going to need for this is two small microwave bowls, um, some almond bark, vanilla flavor. It could be the white because I'm doing two different and or some chocolate flavor ones. I have the uh, I don't know how to pronounce that, but these chocolate and white. And then I have some sprinkles from the hot chocolate ones, the little Christmas ones. I don't, again, I don't know what they are. And then you're going to need some, some kind of platter. I know it's not Christmas, but this is the only one I can find. And, of course, block box. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is open up your lollipop. You open up your lollipop, so... You won't have to worry about all that when you um, start making everything. And I also do this. I also go ahead and do this because these lollipops sometimes break when you take them out of the package. It doesn't matter how many lollipops you have. Just make as much as you want to make. Right now, I'm making six because these are all the lollipops I can find. And these are the heart shaped ones because these are the ones we got for Valentine's Day. But we forgot that they were in our cabinet to eat. So, and they're packaged so they're not old. So I decided I wanted to make put some chocolate and sprinkles on them. Yeah. So there they go, candies, and I'm going to go ahead and put some meat over them so they don't get old since they're out to the open. I'm just going to put this over them to make sure they stay fresh. So the first you want to get is a bowl, and you want to get some of your chocolate, or I'm going to start off with white chocolate. So you want to get some of this. And since there, I'm only making six, um, I'm going to do three white and three um, three chocolate. So you have those. And you're going to keep putting them in for like 30 seconds of time. And then what you want to do is start mixing it. So that's what it looks right now. And then we're going to put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds right now. Okay, see, so that didn't work, so we're going to put it in for like a minute, or 45 seconds, so we're going to put it in 45 seconds. So it looks like it's getting a little softer, so I'm going to mix some of it up. Mix some of it up. And then put it in there in the microwave for like 30 more seconds so it can get a little bit more firm. I mean, soft. Can I have some nuts again? I'll give you And then 30 more seconds should do it. If it doesn't, we'll just keep stirring and stirring and stirring and putting it in the microwave. Have that done. Mm. 
So I got the white chocolate out. Hold on, guys. Have some chocolate. And I also got some tops for them because I don't want those to lie open either. But yeah, I'm just gonna mix these out until it's all easily, easily mixed together. Let that sit with the top on it. Now for the chocolates. Now I got the chocolate. I put a few in there because I don't know how many to put in there. Maybe tell me about the bag. I don't know. But yeah. So I put some in there. And it says I have to put it there at there for like 30 seconds and then stir it. Keep putting it in 15 second intervals. Yeah. And don't worry, my hands are washed. If you thought I was like putting my hands in there, and it was dirty. My hands are washed. Of course. So first, put it in there for 30 seconds. If I need to, I will add more because, as I said, I do not know how many to put in there. And I think we're gonna know. We'll see. Uh, I don't. I don't know yet. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. So I just mixed it up. So I just get out there, and it looked like it was already in there but I'm gonna put in a few more because I don't think it's that much so then I'm gonna put it in there for 15 seconds and see what happens so I actually put it in there longer for like 30 seconds because when I tasted it it wasn't a, as hot enough so I'm gonna put it in there for like 30 more seconds just to make sure it really gets like hot and firm enough like thick and thin like, like even like you, you know, I mean, like, like I, I'm just saying, like, so many times, but yeah, do that. See, that definitely got it warmer and hotter. That definitely. Yeah, like I said, I might need to add more, but I don't know right now. This looks like the proper amount, but we'll see. And uh, we're about to dip them in there. I think that's the best method for that. If not, I might do another video and show you how to do it with like a Ziploc bag, like pouring it on there. But I think the best method right now is to like, um, oh, um, dip them in there. So let's start on that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off with the chocolate since it's already open. Put the spoon to side. Well, not to the side, but I'm just gonna make it go all in one corner. So all of it can be in one corner, so it can be a lot. And what I'm gonna do is take a lollipop and just dip the whole thing in there. If you don't want to dip the whole thing, just dip like the top or something. But I want to dip the whole thing in there. Just so you can get a lot of chocolate. Dogs can't do that. So there we go. Nice and chocolate. You're gonna put that on the I don't wanna touch it because I don't want to smear it. But I'm gonna do that for the rest of those for tomorrow. So I just dip it in there. Lollipops. Sorry. And yes, these are my DIY lollipops. Some someone else might have done these, but I was just thinking about make some lollipops. But if someone else did it, please don't uh, make a huge statement about it because I was just doing this for fun. Just doing it for fun. I would I didn't even go on YouTube and see who else has done it. I just did my own thing. And yeah. That's how I came to this. Okay. And now for white chocolate. The white chocolate is still hot, so I'm really happy about that because I think it's going to get a lot on there. And since it's not firm, I should have scooped all of it in one corner so I can get all of this. Whoa. Let's see how I'm doing that. 
so I'm gonna wipe that off. So you can actually see the heart. Yay! Oh my Yoshi go! Now pull it down so you can see how I'm doing that. You made this happen! So I'm doing is putting this over here, just scooping it to the side, and then just make it chocolate. See, I'm in my cage. See, what? What? I do. You might not get a lot in there, but that's okay. Because you still want a lollipop. You don't want all that chocolate. You still want a lollipop. But I just want a little swing to it. So here we go. One more. Go. Get all that chocolate on there so I don't see any red. I don't want to see any red. I want it to just be straight up chocolate. But not like straight up chocolate, like what I just said. Like, don't put too much chocolate, but you don't really want to see any red. Oh no, this is going not as planned. Uh, it's not cooperating. Let me push it to the side. Push it up to the side. I think it's going now. Okay. I think that's, that's as good as it's gonna get. Do that. Okay, I shouldn't have did that that slow because it's drying. Well, not that much, but it's still like dry. But you don't want it to dry yet. You know, I was thinking yeah, I should let it chill, but you should not let it chill because the sprinkles won't have anything to hold on to. I just noticed that. So there they go. And so I'm just going to use um, the regular sprinkles again. Well, I might use some of these and then the regulars and then some of the minis. I don't want to use any of these big ones or any of these red and white ones because I don't really like those. So first I'm going to start out with this one. I'm just going to shake some water. And I guess two for each. So one white one and one red one like that. Then now the regular ones. And then the mini ones. The other ones could have got on there, but that's okay. Cause you wanna Whoa! See? Mini ones are getting to me. And that is how you make my DIY lollipops. Uh, yeah, you can make from a friend, your family, yourself, anyone. And I bet you they're super good. And yeah. So comment, like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. And thanks for watching. Bye.